Welcome to day two of your challenge. How do you feel? How hard was it to set aside that two minutes away from technology yesterday? Or how hard was it not to check your inbox for the rest of the day outside your 15 minute window? I know these things can be challenging. So if you're struggling with this, make sure you're posting in the Facebook group and talking to other teachers about it. It really does help to have the supportive community. Now let's dive in to day two's challenges. Your inbox challenge for today is called the two minute rule. So we still keep our 15 minute block that continues throughout the five day challenge. But your extra challenge for today is to start to implement a two minute rule. That means if you open an email, this can count for text too, but if you open an email and you can reply to it within two minutes, you just do it. You just do it right away. You don't close the email and then open it later. You don't put a star on it. You just reply to it right away. This is the hardest one for me to follow. And for some of you, it may be easy and you might be looking at me like I'm a bit bonkers, but it can be really hard. It's so tempting to go, yep, yeah, I'll get to that later. Oh yeah, that's fine. Oh, I'll just think about that for a bit. No, because that leaves that in the back of your brain and you're mulling over it when you don't need to. Some emails require thought and consideration and those you do mark to come back to later or um, have a boomerang feature where it comes back to you and reappears in your inbox after a certain amount of time. That's fine. But most emails do not require that much thought. They just require a simple answer that is thought out in about two minutes. So anything that's going to take two minutes or less, you reply to instantly during your 15 minute inbox increment. Your Zen challenge from here on is increasing to five minutes. I'm only asking for 20 minutes total out of your day. So I think five minutes is doable, okay? So you're gonna put away your devices, put your phone in that drawer, just like you did yesterday. The additional requirement today though, is that you're gonna do a five minute breathing meditation. And I know some of you just ran away. I'm not a huge meditation person either, but it's very good to do as an experiment. So I just want you to try just this one time. You never have to do it again, okay? All right? Right. So all you need to do is set a timer and then put your phone in the drawer if you have to use your phone for a timer for five minutes. If you don't need it to be exactly five minutes, you can leave out the timer, but I do find it useful. And then for that entire length of time, all you do is sit still or as still as is comfortable for you and breathe in and out. And as you breathe in and out, you're going to count to five. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Just do that until the time is done. You can count at a speed that is comfortable for you. Hopefully you'll be breathing slowly and gently, but you can follow your own breathing with your counting. It's just about giving you something to focus on that is not your own thoughts. And five minutes, it might feel long, but again, you only have to do this this one time. So I want you to give it a go, push yourself, sit there for a full five minutes, breathing in and out. That's your only job. All right, that's it for day two. I hope you love those challenges. Do let us know how you get on with them in the Facebook group and share your experience with some teacher friends.